fearful place to stand before the Lord, and to stand before His children, hoping that He bless you with a little bit to say. I was blessed this morning just to be able to, be able to hear my grandpa be able to say a prayer once again. It's, it's a blessing to be able to be able to hear that. And the Lord blesses you to be able to hear something like that. I know there's many out there that are, I've been very well blessed where I've been able to hear my grandpa be able to say many prayers. Those are memories that I'll have throughout my whole life that I'll be able to treasure. That I'm so thankful for. And I could go home satisfied this morning. I really could. I was sitting back here trying to find something. I, I had a film. This was where my heart would be falling this evening, this morning. And I didn't have a thing in my mind. And as I was thumbing through my Bible, my bu- the little bookmarker fell out of a page I didn't even know that I had marked. <laughs> and I started reading it kind of about joy to me. So I thought maybe that's where the Lord might want to lead me to go this morning. But as the brother was sitting up here, standing up here speaking earlier, he made me think as the Lord had our Savior was there on that cross. And as he gave up the ghost, they were going around with that spear breaking legs. But you know there wasn't a bone in their in his body that they could break. You know, I was thinking about that and how when they sat up there in the side, I thought about how that blood and that water came forth. I thought about that brother. I thought about how that stream is still flowing till this day. I thought about that. I were washed and I were washed in the blood of the land. I believe that water still flowing. How when our rise is flowing, I believe that's a little bit of that water. I believe we're baptized in that water. I believe that our Lord and Savior, He was the but you know what I'm saying about as the brother spoke about how he went down. He laid down for three days and he was raised again three days, three nights. But I was thinking about he is the resurrection. But oh, how sometimes we doubt. But you know, here with Lazarus, I was thinking about how his sister surely is saved by now. But he was the re- he is the resurrection. I thought about that. What a love Jesus had for them. And here it is. The small, the shortest verse in the Bible that Jesus wept. The 35th uh, verse in the 11th chapter of John. And I thought about this. And there it says, Then said the Jews, Oh, how he loved this man. Oh, how he must have loved him. And he the sisters as they came. And Mary fell down to his feet and wept. I thought about that. <laughs> and then when Mary was coming where Jesus was, and saw him, she fell down at his feet, saying unto the Lord, If thou hast been near my brother and not died, how oh, she doubted. But I thought about how he is the resurrection. And there, when he told him to roll away that stone, all he had to say was, Lazarus, arise. And there he came up out. I believe that bride that he bought with his blood. He'll be coming back, brother. He'll be coming back to get you and me. I believe. I'm thankful today that he sent his only begotten son to die for us. That he laid down his blood, his body. That he shed his precious blood for us. One law through that man was that our Savior had. I didn't feel a thing when I stood up here. Now I feel pretty good right now. <laughs> but oh, oh, what love he must have had. That he sent his only begotten son to die for you and me. You know, I've heard many. I don't have a child of my own. 
But I've heard many say that they wouldn't be able to send their only son to do, to die for many. But you know, I'm thankful that he had loved our Father, that was the only begotten Son, that died for you and me. Thank you. 